Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Uh, uh, oh, hey, yeah, I'm usually John is <laughs> Yep, that's John over there. Anyway, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Hard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414 They still do hand sharpening skates. Kind of think of Mighty Ducks and Hans, if you need the picture. Um, They also have all the hockey gear for youth all the way up to beer league. So, nice. you need it, they got you covered. Uh, rec skating, they got you covered too. Uh, I think the skates go as low as about 99 bucks. I think that's as low as they go. But and I, I'm not going to say any brands. Don't want to get them in any trouble. But uh, um, if you want, you could just zoom up. If you can, uh, if your phone allows you or device allows you, zoom up on this, and, and it'll tell you all the brands he sells. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the reason we're here, Nashville Predators at Detroit. Nine guys on the injured list. Let's see how we went. Did it grow? Did it get smaller? What the heck happened? All righty. All right. First off, stats were uh, shots were 31 to 27. Uh, shot attempts were 55 to 44. Um, faceoffs were 68% for the Nashville Predators to 32% for Detroit. Out. Yeah, they really were good in the faceoff dot tonight. Uh, power play Nashville one for four. And one power play goal is still better than zero. So right. Detroit, 0 for 2. Uh, penalty minutes, 10 to 6. Uh, Detroit, uh, that is the only stat that, well, there's only two stats Detroit led in. Stats you don't want to. Nope. Um, hits, 18 to 13, Nashville. Block shots, 10 to 9, Nashville. Giveaways, 4 to 6, Detroit. All right, with that being said... Oh. Very good improvements with the giveaways this game versus the last three. They really were able to cut down on them. Crisper passing, better setups. Worst team. Sorry, I, I, I it's kind of hard to take. I, I'm not trying to take away from what Detroit is able to do, but it is really hard to take them serious when they've been sellers since 2012. Right. It's just hard. Yeah. Um. They're kind of like in that same range, and trust me when I say this, it pains me even to say it, Buffalo Sabres, even though they picked up a W today. Um, So scoring in the first was Danny DeKaiser, uh, his second of the season with an assist from Valtteri Filfola. Dude, that guy's never going to leave the NHL. <laughs> He's going to be like the next Yaramir Yager. Right, plays right. plays in his 50s. All right, yeah. scoring in the second, nada. The second period was a very clean period, but... Yeah, it was. Brutal. All right, speaking of brutal, this is how brutal this game went. Scoring in the third. Three minutes to 32 seconds in. Luke Kunin scores his fourth with an assist by Roman Yossi and Matt Benning. Uh, Yossi's 19th and Benning's second. Literally minutes after this, got hurt. You know, by a wrist shot with... The wrist shot went into the zone. He was trying to dump it in, went off of Kunin's head. Uh, Benning didn't mean to do it. We all know those things are fluky. You never know, right. and, and it just happened. Yeah. Um. I hope Kunin's going to be okay because we kind of need all the guys we can. Also, Fabro left in the first period. Never saw him again. Nope. So that's got me a little worried as well. All right. Then scoring in the third, the guy who scored about – Five goals this year against the Predators, Adam Ernie. <laughs> yeah. He has his ninth of the year with an assist from Merrill, his fifth, and Juice, his eighth. And I swear they assist on every goal he scores. Mm -hmm. So that's that case. Then Mikel Granlin scores his ninth with an assist from Cal Yonkrock, his ninth, and Roman Yossi, his 20th on the power play. Well, that sets up. Overtime. Yep. Overtime was how many shots were during overtime? Shots during overtime were four to three. Uh, four Nash to three. Yeah, four to three Nashville. All right. Scoring in overtime. Shooting first in the shootout, because I obviously went there right away. Shooting yeah. first in the shootout, because obviously I have to go beyond. Um was Dylan Larkin as 
much as it pains me to say this, that mess up was not Larkin's fault. That ice was a mess over there. Yeah, it looked like it. it. The puck bounced on him, and he had no grip after that. He just played catch up from there. Yeah. And then on the other side of the ice, it was just perfect because shooting second was uh, Ryan Johansson. I guess we're going to have to call this move controller disconnect. Because <laughs> this man waited for at least goal. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I mean, when you're talking about waiting out a goalie, that would have irritated me even. Right, right, yeah. Um, but it was a beautiful play. Uh, then, it was. Uh, up next was uh, Philip Zadina gave Saros a little bit of a headache, but and by headache, I mean actual headache. It hit him in the mask. Yeah. Like, what? Are we practice here where you just shoot at the mask and groin all practice? Beer league <laughs> practice? The rest of it all misses the net. All right. Literally, as Roman Yossi was going to take his face-off shot, or his shootout shot, I had made a comment that Yossi looked like, damn, I'm tired. I need to get your score and get the hell out of here. <laughs> you were hungry it, for it all game, though. Huh? He was hungry for it all game, though. Yeah. I, I will say this, though. He, he definitely had that let's get the heck out of here so I could go to bed look. Yeah. Speaking of which, that's our plan. So, three stars of the game. Uh, third star of the game was Adam Ernie. It could have easily been anybody else. Right. Our second star of the game was Mikel Granlin with a goal. Uh, and then third star of the game was Robin Yossi. Yossi had the shootout winner and two assists. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll take the W. It keeps us two points ahead of the, of the Blackhawks, which is what we need at the current moment. Absolutely. In that for Nashville was UC Sorrow. Sorrow stopped 25 and 27 with a .962 save percentage. Um, and that for Detroit was Tomas Grice. Tomas Grice stopped uh 29 of 31 with a save percentage of 0.93 uh, 35. Um, since his return, give me a second here. I'm looking it up. I remember having the stats pinned here, so please bear with me, folks. All right, since Saros has returned from injury on March 18th, okay, he is 7-2-0 with a 1.21 goals against average and a 0.964 save percentage. Doing very well. Then again, Luke Cunning came back and had a point streak. Yep. Maybe we just need to, like, if a guy's hitting a cold straight, whack him over the head with a frying pan and he'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not exactly, yeah. like, ideal thought process, but it does work. Right. Um, I wanted to give a special thanks to John for being here, taking time away away and out of his out of his personal life. Not that we don't Oh, no problem, him. man. Um, also, uh, oh. thanks to guys like Robert and my wife and everybody who helps make this stuff happen. So um, I also wanted to thank all of you for your support all of it over the years and also thank everyone who uh, wished us a happy Easter and hope you guys enjoyed George. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you're wondering, yes, my arm hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I did put that out on YouTube and uh, uh, Facebook last night. Thank you to everybody that watched that movie or that that pie, part of our podcast was crazy. <laughs> As y'all can tell, I'm tired. I've had a long mm -hmm. day. I'm ready to go to bed. He's ready to go to bed. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Enjoy All right. your week. The rest of your week. See y'all tomorrow with Florida Everblades versus the Jacksonville T-Bows. I mean, <laughs> Iceman. Yeah. See y'all later.